Hi guys, welcome to InfoGIS TV. Today we'll be talking about the reason why Peter Obi will be the next Nigerian president. The event that took place on the 20th of October 2020 at Ozumba and Badiwe Lagos State is like a pepper in a fresh wound, the result of which is the fact that Nigerian politics underwent a historical change as a result of that event. The year 2020 is a year that will be remembered as a year young men, women, boys, and girls gave up their lives for the first time consciously for the rebirth, rejuvenation, and rejuvenation of the Nigerian spirit. The arrival of which signaled a change in not only Nigerian politics, but also in the way Nigerians see themselves to an extent. The theory of Nigeria first is becoming, beginning rather to have flesh in the Nigerian political atmosphere. The campaign that Mr. Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed, his running mates are running, is one powered by hope for the youths and the economy in the build up to the presidential election and should be considered as spectacular. As their victory will signal a cultural and political shift on a positive note in Nigeria. Before 2022, Nigerians had never considered voting for um, Mr. Peter Obi. This is the first time a person considered to be an outsider will be aspiring with so much audacity to become Nigerian's president in a country that has barely achieved equality among its constituent ethnic groups. The prevalent belief that Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress will always have his way around politics in Nigeria is no more feasible in this period and time of youth activism. On the other hand, the dishing out of hard currencies, I mean dollars, by the candidate of the People's Democratic Party are all clues to the fact that the nature of, uh, to the fact and the uh, unforeseen nature, rather, of Mr. Peter Obi's victory to come, as their words, actions, are unconsciously to them transforming Peter Obi from an unknown presidential candidate to one Nigerian youth's desire to have as their next president. Okay, so definitely a quick look at the interviews granted by Mr. Peter Obi, and more recently his vice presidential aspirant, Baba Ahmed, lays down a strong foundation for the analysis of, or a perfect reason why Nigerian youths and Nigerians in general are clamoring for their presidency. Noting more particularly their, uh, career, their career background being men, from the private sector and who are also eager to transform Nigeria from a consumer nation to a producing nation as a reason they have chosen to run for presidency come 2023. Now, the moment that Mr. Peter Obi announced his bid to contest for the presidency, he went from being just a common or a common former governor of uh, Anambra State who saved the state so much fortune to becoming the needed Messiah who will transform Nigeria, who will also be the clog in the wheel of bad governance in Nigeria and exchange bad governance with a system that works, an economy that works, Nigeria that works for everyone. You know, Nigeria, we, which will, uh, yeah, the, the, the moments, uh, uh, these moments Peter B declared his uh, candidacy saw uh, so many youths asking questions as to whether Peter B could be the next Nigerian president. Taking who will take them, you know, who will take them from the current state of uh, 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 of coma Nigeria is into now to uh, the place where Nigeria. Everyone wants Nigeria to be, and this they have done through their various social media handles, thereby dragging Peter Obi to the press and by extension, making him a known household name in Nigeria 
as far as the 2023 presidential election is concerned. The importance of the various interviews granted by Mr. Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed, his running mates, sets them out from the regular Nigerian politicians we used to have as they understand the need to represent a new era of politics in Nigeria. Through these various speeches, which Baba Ahmed and uh, Peter Obi have given, which are also widely circulated on social media, they have been able to convey to Nigerians, you know, they've been able to convey to Nigerians the reason why, why Nigerians need to unite to restore the glory of the giant of Africa by voting them in as the next um, presidential candidates to occupy the um, Astro Rock and uh, also be um, in the helm of affairs, piloting the, the economy back to where we desire it to be. So from the various social medias and mainstream media survey, it is clear that, it is clear that Mr. Pito will be appeals to an audience of mixed ethnic and economic backgrounds across Nigeria, a demographic a demography, rather, that historically has been a difficult task for many Nigerian youth uh, politicians, rather, to break. So it is clear that so many persons from the Aosas, from the Yorubas, from the Nub, the Tiv, the Jaws, the Ogonis, the Shekris, are now detribalized as their votes and supports are being thrown at Mr. Peter Obi because they have seen within themselves that there is no other person among the three most influential candidates that are vying for the presidential position other than uh, Mr. Peter Obi to see them to the promised land Nigeria has been clamoring for. Mr. Peter Obi's decision to distance himself from ethnic or religious dispositions in all his addresses will definitely be one of the cues to his success in the forthcoming 2023 election because uh, so many persons, like uh, uh, Bola Timus Itinibu said, Emiloka, that is to say that it is my turn, it is our turn. Whose turn is Nigeria? Does Nigeria belong to any particular person that one would boldly have the audacity to say it is my turn to rule Nigeria? And Nigerians, I beg you, need to uh, look into such uh, audacity. And uh, I think it is high time Nigerians look into this and see the reason why he is so bold and so um, uh, over courageous, over confidence that he will be the next president of Nigeria. The fact that Mr. Pito B discusses more on issues like health care, education, and making Nigeria work again will definitely give him mass appeal, which is currently and beginning to give him a national figure with a significant national reputation. This we can see from few though important online pool conducted by social media users asking if Peter Obi will be voted for to become Nigeria's next president, which turned out to be a massive pool with over 90% of the onlineers, um, onlineers um, net, netizens, let's say netizens, uh, citizens of the net, <laughs> citizens of the net saying they will vote for Peter Obi and only about 10% declining. It is very clear in the civilized climes that uh, more especially, most times um, these pools actually uh, transform to reality when it comes to the actual uh, voting uh, system to elect who becomes the president in uh, 2023, do not be surprised that maybe this can be transformed because I, there is a clear indication, a clear move by the youth of Nigeria to, uh, to get their PVCs as a result of this. You see so many, um, so many musicians are turning out shows and uh, the ticket no longer 10 million for table for 10, no longer 5,000 for um, VIP and 3,000 for regular the ticket for you to attend those shows by those popular artists like that of uh, Bonaboy, uh, um, uh, Faz, P Squares, and the rest of them is for you to just tender your your PVC and you have access. And you see, uh, for um, according to New York Times, 
Alaba International Market makes an annual uh, revenue of about $4.1 billion annually. That is, when I say annually, I, I mean every year. So for um, traders in the Alaba International Market to actually close Alaba International Market for a day to, con to, 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 to uh, get their PVCs to themselves shows that Alaba International Market will be losing a total revenue of about $10.1 million every day these traders go out seeking to acquire or get their vote, uh, voters card in order to vote Peter Obi to become the next president. It shows the level of sacrifice. It shows the level of, of awakening. It shows the level of which Nigerians are eager to make this country work. It is also clear to see that so many agitations are cooling down because where there is equity, where there is equality, there is definitely justice. So these are also seen in the words of in in the words of the Afeni Fere leader, who said that the North has had their fair share of the presidency, naming um, uh, Yaradua, naming. Uh, 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 who served almost seven years, and uh, Buhari the incumbent who is serving eight years. Uh, when we go to the southeast, uh, the southwest, you have uh, Obasanjo who served eight years. Even uh, the vice president currently is doing eight years under Buhari. Uh, when you come to south south, you you find out that uh, Obas, uh, sorry, uh, good luck, Ebele Jonathan did one year for his boss uh, Yaradua who died and uh, also did four years. So uh, South South has gotten a fair share. How about the South is the Igbos? They are one of the major ethnic groups that makes up uh, this nation. And if, according to the Afenefere leader, if Nigerians are to be fair enough, if Nigerians are to be true to themselves, then the Igbos should be given um, an opportunity to also rule this country, Nigeria. So on a more... Important note is the fact that Peter Obi is taking advantage of his youthful supporters who make up his grassroots campaigning force, who even go as far as raising funds to sponsor campaigns as is obtainable in the civilized world. I think this can also be seen when uh, Barack Obama, a very, very disadvantaged um, African-American, uh, sought to vie for the uh, White House, the uh, presidency of the White House of America. It wasn't really easy for him, but it turned out to be that yeah, so many supporters were able to, you know, um, um, come out together to raise $20 and $5, $1,000 until they were able to recoup um, over $100 million, which we, with which, um, even though that wasn't the only source of income for um, uh, Obama's uh, campaign, but went a long way to show that uh, he is an accepted uh, candidate for the Americans as at 2008, if not mistaken. Now, I think uh, it, it will not be out of place to also put um, Peter Obi as liking Mr. Peter Obi to the Obama of Nigeria, who is currently making waves across Nigeria. You know, uh, going back to what I said earlier, I want to say that uh, these young persons, young youths of Nigerians are who cut across all ethnic groups, all religious affiliations in Nigeria. We are able to raise uh, funds for to sponsor campaigns as obtainable in the, in the civilized climate, like I said earlier on. And um, this has also gone beyond raising these funds to becoming a movement which is popularly known as obedient movement, AKA no shishi. It simply means that these youths are not after the train around of hard currencies. They are not about um, what they will get, but they just want to see uh, a, a working Nigeria owing to the fact that on the 20th of October 2022, so many uh, Nigerian youths have already sacrificed, paid the utmost price for this rebirth of policies in Nigeria. So um, the next we should be talking about again on this agenda is that the reason why Nigerians need to reunite to rest the the reason why Nigerians need to unite to restore 
um, uh, the lost glory of the giant of Africa is no more hidden. He is no more a hidden factor as Mr. Peter B happens to be the answer to this from various social media platforms so like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and um, even the mainstream media surveys. It is clear that Mr. Peter will be appeased to an audience of mixed ethnic, cultural, and uh, uh, economic backgrounds. It is very clear. It is very clear. So basically, there is, a, there is definitely hope for the obedience movement to occupy the uh, Asherog Villa come 2023. So it is right to say that uh, social media, uh, it is right to say that social, social psychologists, as I call them, uh, have recognized the link between appearance and impression formation. These are two things that are very, very important that upon meeting a person, or seeing someone within seconds, you are able to form a conclusion about the person simply based on the person's physical appearance and most importantly, facial appearance or the person's speech. You know, this is one thing that uh, the social media clips are doing. So the link, um, the the link between uh, the um, uh, um, the link between appearance and impression formation applies in politics also. As many voters will vote for Peter Obi solely because of his facial appearance in online in online circulated clips, like I said earlier, and discussions arising from those watch clips where he was interviewed without having a prior knowledge of him. So many persons will definitely vote for him. When, they, when it comes to uh, the election day in uh, 2023, because of the fact that, not for the fact that they know Peter Obi himself, but because they've seen clips of him, or uh, because so many persons who have watched clips of him uh, uh, and uh, happen to have discussed him in public forums are uh, able to um, get them to believe that Peter Obi is the next person who will make Nigeria work again. So to this extent, social media is now becoming an innovative tool and one the obedient movements are using and it's only loan to be used by these people who are supporting Peter Obi. Uh, in little or nothing is known about movements that are really large enough on social media platforms that are working tirelessly for either Tinubu or Atiku Abubaka. Uh, I think so many persons will say, forget about the media vibes, the social media vibes, it ends there. I'll take you back to 2008 again when Barack Obama contested. You see that a whole lot of social media platforms con contributed to about 90% of the uh, uh, 90% of uh, success of uh, Barack Obama becoming the next president of um, 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 uh, America because over 90% of uh, uh, voters online opted to vote for Obama and just about 10% uh, declined. Now, when the actual day of election came, it showed up that the uh, the pools online actually transformed into reality on that day, day. and that was how a, 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 a an an African American who is considered to be on the disadvantaged position, no owing to the white that he is contesting against whites, pure whites, became president. So you see that the social media, although it is very very new to the Nigerian political atmosphere. It simply means that a miracle can be done. Miracle can be done, definitely. So we have to look, uh, take a closer look at what is going on online because it will definitely impact on who becomes the next president. Do not be surprised that Mr. Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed will be making waves very soon. The difference between the presidential candidates becomes more clear. Mr. Peter Obi offers a striking contrast to Bola Ahmed Tinubu of APC and Atiku Abubakar of People's Democratic Party, who are in their 60s, late 60s and 70s. <laughs> Peter Obi is young and is different, which makes him attractive. 
and makes it seemingly effortless to build a brand around him, a political brand, a presidential brand around him, which is big enough to inspire youths, religious leaders, traditional leaders. An example of such is the Afeniferi, Afeniferi uh, leader who is clamoring for e e equity among the ethnic groups, calling for um, Peter Obi to be given chance to also rule the country, for Ibus to also have um, a, self of a sense of belonging, rather, in the Nigerian Federation. So it is very clear, you see, the brand has gone so far that funds are even being raised voluntarily for its movement by youths, Nigerian youths. These are people whom <laughs> one administration referred to as lazy youths. But it is very clear to everyone now that the Nigerian youth actually know what they want for themselves. And uh, they can thrive better when they have the opportunities to do this. Wow. Peter Obi is a big brown. It is a very, very interesting um, phenomenon that Nigerians are keen, keen, keen into rather. The use of the internet is playing a large role in the success of uh, Peter Obi's campaign for presidency, as his grassroots, being mostly youths, are inclined and interlinked with social media. This, among other things, is behind why Peter Obi is becoming very much the candidate of the Nigerian people. Everyone talks about him. Everyone, whether as a result of um, uh, his uh, speeches, as a result of his clothing, as a result of his selflessness, as a result of his accuracy in giving statistics as to how he seeks to bring Nigeria back to the track and make everything work again, as to how intelligent he is and uh, how people also affirm to his assertions why, why he was uh, governor of Anambra State and to his actions and his works there, all these contribute to the reason why the Nigerian people are very much interested in him. So through these innovative use of the internet, Peter Obi is able to drive the idea that everyone is included in restoring Nigeria. How is that possible? That is possible because in, uh, um, nine in every 10 Nigeria comes across a video clip of either an interview or a presentation by Peter Obi. And uh, so many persons take their time to listen to him. And before listening to him or at the end of listening to him, they get convinced as to the reason why they should, even though they are not fully convinced, vote for him come 2023 to see if at all there will be um, definitely um, um, improvement in the Nigerian economy and the Nigerian brand as a whole. It is right to say that social media. Uh, it, it is right to say that social media is going to play definitely a key role. So Peter Obi's online campaign is is a clue that Obi would be able to stand toe to toe with Atiku Abubakar and Ahmed Bola Tinubu, although they possess more financial power, more financial autonomy in the political terrain. Peter Obi's grassroots campaign team across Nigeria, known as Obedience, aka No Shishi, will definitely, will definitely uh, be, <laughs> will definitely appeal to not only credible, but disciplined, genu disciplined genuinely seeking for the uh, Nigerians, genuinely seeking for a better Nigeria. So um, the obedient movement transcends ethnicity. It runs deeper than the uh, train of uh, money around and uh, represents a generational and cultural shift in the mainstream Nigerian polities and the Nigerian people as a whole. It would be right to see that Peter Obi's campaign is a hybrid of corporate management and community organizing, which is drawing half of its drive from the private sector, bringing in private skills, private sector skills into what can be obtainable in Nigeria and make it work. Peter Obi's vision for Nigeria is precise enough to attract a diverse range of followers that are seeking various kinds of change 
having faith that almost anything is possible with the composition of Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed as uh, his running mate. A weakness in the article Abubakar's candidacy springs from within his own political party, the People's Democratic Party, during and after the party primaries that saw him as PDP's presidential flag bearer. But the last straw that has broken the camel's back is the divide among the PD People's Democratic Party stakeholders arising from Atiku's choice of Okoa over the, uh, the stakeholders' preferred candidate of Governor Ian Sonwiki of River State, who failed to win the party's presidential ticket and also um, failed to become the uh, vice presidential running mate of Atiku Abubakar because of Atiku's refusal to pick him. This has further shown the root of the weakness as uh, of the People's Democratic Party as over the weeks, uh, Peter, uh, as over the weeks rather, the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinebu, uh, who traveled overseas, visited Wiki, and also subsequently uh, three high-profile profile, um, APC governors also paid Wiki a courtesy visit at his Port Harcourt residence. This goes, speaks volume rather as to the um, instability that is uh, breeding within the People's Democratic Party. Even though we are not sure of the outcome of their meeting, I mean the three high-profile uh, governors of uh, the uh, All Progressive Candid uh, Congress rather, who visited um, um, uh, Wiki in Port Harcourt, it, is <laughs> it still goes to the root of the fact that the People's Democratic Party as a party is in crisis and the star player, Governor Yes on Wiki of River State, has vehemently refused to either, um, um, uh, 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 let's say, he has refused to see or meet with the Atiku Abubakar's campaign team or even meeting with Atiku Abubakar himself for them to settle their scores. Uh, so many persons have also opted that uh, uh, Governor Yes Wiki of River State should be made the campaign uh, the director general for Atiku Abubakar campaign organization. But again, the governor of River State has vehemently refused to accept such kind of appointments in the People's Democratic Party. This is a party he has also sworn to be loyal to, but one keeps wondering what is transpiring in the People's Democratic Party. On the other hand, Bola Ahmed Tinibu of the All Progressive Congress, who appears to be a political master planner, as he is popularly referred to as the Jagaban of Lagos. <laughs> appears to have mistaken Nigeria for Lagos State when he settled for a Muslim Muslim ticket that has continued to trade media with the Northern APC or Progressive Congress Christian leaders, uh, you know, vehemently rejecting Tinibu's Muslim Muslim ticket. Again, uh, um, APC governors recently also visited the uh, president, President Muhammad Obrari, to protest the same Muslim Muslim ticket by the party's flag bearer, Ahmed Bola Tinebu. So, so many notable Nigerians have also shown their protest, among which is Senator Elisha Ishaku, who is currently representing Adamawa North in the National Assembly, who commented on Tinebu's Muslim Muslim ticket as saying that uh, it is a very irresponsible it is very irresponsible for Tinebu to take his political survivor or consider his political survivor over the stability and peace of Nigeria, and also resigned his membership of the Tinubu support group over the said Muslim Muslim ticket. Again, Edwin Clark recently commented, calling on Christians to be at alert, that Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket confirms their attempts to Islamize Nigeria, and um, this has continued to ring bells in, in uh, Christian worship centers, as pastors are even seen clamoring to or uh, uh, rally ran over a million voters to see true see um Peter Obi true becoming the president of Nigeria come 2020, uh, 2023. 
One Mr. Musa Oman also commented by saying that Muslim Muslim tickets shouldn't matter in an ID situation, but Nigeria as a country is not an ID place, saying that the same reason why one cannot fee in two Northerners or two Southerners in a ticket for a sensitive position like that of the presidency is exactly, is exactly the reason why it is wrong for Tinubu to fee in a Muslim Muslim ticket. Another person commented by saying that what frightens him is the audacity with which Tinubu made his declaration for Muslim Muslim tickets. It is good to note that. All these leaves only one person at an advantage, and that person happens to be the OB Ahmed candidacy come 2023. If this should continue, if this actually should continue, if the People's Democratic Party don't call their house together to resolve the differences between um, Wiki of Port Harcourt of River State and the flag party flag bearer Atiku Abubakar and uh, gov people like uh, Governor Fairoshi and the likes of them, if these men who are key stakeholders in the South who belong to the People's Democratic Party are not called and appeased on time. If the, these differences are not resolved on time, then it simply means that PDP is bent on losing the entire South-South in the forthcoming general elections. And knowing fully well that uh, the Northern votes will be divided among the three uh, political parties. So Atiku Abubakar himself would have to be grappling for um, how to secure the Southern votes. So it goes to, on a long run to say that um, Atiku Abubakar should do the needful. Not just do the needful, but he should do it timeously to ensure that he regains the trust and confidence of these uh, party stakeholders. On the other hand, I think uh, for um, the All Progressive Congress to also thrive, owing to the fact that um, so many persons are looking at the health status of the flag bearer uh, and not coming to be another person who will be flying every two, two weeks to the United Kingdom for treatment as a result of poor health. Nigerians want someone who would be um, healthy and ready to take up responsibilities and move Nigeria to the permanent site. So again, if the All Progressive candidate, uh, Congress would want to also claim the ticket, then they have to, or uh, stakeholders of this party have to see to the flag bearer and reconsider picking uh, a Muslim Christian ticket. And uh, if this is not done, uh, I'm afraid to say that uh, uh, the, 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 the possibility of the All Progressive Congress having or clinging or winning the forthcoming election will be very, very slim, like the head of a cow passing through a needle. So uh, let's keep watching how it unfolds. We'll keep keeping you up to date. We'll keep bringing everything as they unfold for your consumption. Stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel, like, and if, these, if there's any comments you have, or any improvement, please leave it in the